binding energy per nucleon of iron nucleus so to find out the binding energy so let us consider the concept as a problem so calculate the mass defect binding energy and binding energy per nucleon of iron so given mass of the proton that is in amu and as well as neutron that value also in amu and actual mass this is called actual mass of the iron that is 55.93 4932 amu okay so here we have to find out the binding energy per nucleon so to find out the binding energy per nucleon we should find out the binding energy first so to find out the binding energy we should know the mass defect so why because binding energy equals to mass defect into c square square of the light velocity so to find out the mass defect first consider the given data so according to the given data so mass of the proton one proton mass that is 1.007825 amu given and as well as a neutron mass 1.008665 amu and mass of the iron means actually present value that is actual value of the helium in this iron nuclei that is 55.934932 amu okay now to find out the binding energy we should know the mass defect so mass defect means total mass of the nucleons if you find if you calculate you will get a certain value but actual mass if you observe that will be little bit less than that that is called mass defect okay so for that we should identify the actual mass of the nucleons so total mass of the nucleons we should know that is mass of 26 protons and as well as 56 minus 26 that is nothing but the total number of neutrons a minus z this is a z value this is a value a minus z nothing but neutron number so with that we can calculate the neutron mass also so first if you find out the proton mass so mass of the protons here we have 26 protons so 26 protons mass that is 26 into mass of one proton that is 26.20 345 amu so this is the mass of total protons so similarly if you can find out the mass of total neutrons also then you will get the mass of total nucleons so for that number of neutrons that is 56 minus 26 a minus z that is 30 so 30 neutrons so 30 into mass of the neutron you will get total mass of the neutrons that is 30.25 995 amu so if you add this value and uh, total mass of the proton value then you will get the total mass of the nucleons inside the nucleus okay so for that the total mass of 56 nucleons that is uh, 56.4632 amu so this is the mass of total nucleons but nucleus is having only 55.934932 so there is a difference in mass that is decrease in mass that is only the mass defect so mass defect equals to total mass of the nucleons minus actual mass so both the values if you substitute here then if you subtract then you will get 0.528468 amu so this is the mass defect of iron so now we can find out the binding energy so binding energy nothing but delta m into c square or instead of that if delta m is in amu atomic mass unit if you multiply with 931.5 then the total value will be converted into mev okay so to get the energy value in mev you have to multiply with 931.5 then you will get the entire value in mev so if you multiply these two delta m value and as well as 931.5 you will get the binding energy so this is the product gives the binding energy now binding energy per nucleon is the actual value so if you multiply these two you will get 492.267942 mev but we want binding energy per nucleon so this is the total binding energy of the nucleons but per nucleon so per nucleon means here we have 56 nucleons for 56 nucleons this is the total value per each nucleon means divided by 56 so
so binding energy per nucleon nothing but b by a that is 492.267942 by 56 so we got 8.79 mev so approximately 8.8 .8 mev this is the highest value of binding energy in the periodic table for any nucleus this is the highest value so iron is having more binding energy that is approximately 8.8 .8 mev now if you see for uranium binding energy per nucleon of uranium nucleus so for that consider as a problem same mass defect binding energy and binding energy per nucleon of uranium but in the problem definitely they will give the mass of the proton and as well as mass of the neutron and as well as actual mass of the nuclei so here uranium so uranium 92 to 38 for that nuclei the actual mass is 238.0508 amu so now to get the binding energy per nucleon same process we should know binding energy to get the binding energy we should calculate mass defect so for that if you write given data so mass of the proton as well as mass of the neutron and from the given data z value 92 and as well as a total mass number 238 so the difference is the neutron number and actual mass of the uranium also they mentioned then we have to find out binding energy per nucleon means all three we have to find out first mass defect if you can identify for that mass defect means mass of total mass of all nucleons inside the nucleus minus actual mass that is the mass defect actually the nucleus should have certain amount of mass due to all nucleons but it is having little bit less that is called mass defect so for that you should identify the mass defect so mass defect means total mass of the nucleus minus mass actual mass of the nucleus so to find out we should calculate the mass of total protons and as well as mass of total neutrons then if you add both you will get total mass of nucleons then we can subtract with the actual mass of the nucleus then you will get the mass defect so for that we should identify first protons mass to get the protons mass z into mp so z value 92 into mass of the proton that is 1.007825 so if you multiply you will get 92.7199 amu this is the total mass of the protons similarly if you can identify the total mass of the neutrons that is total number of neutrons a minus z that is 146 into mass of the neutrons then if you multiply you will get 147.26509 so this is the mass of the neutrons and this is mass of the protons if you add both you will get the total mass of the nucleus inside the uranium that is the total mass of the nucleus or simply we can call as nucleons that is 239.98499 amu but uranium is having actual mass that is 238.0508 only so the mass defect means total mass of the nucleus by actual mass of the nucleus total mass of the nucleus by actual mass of the nucleus that is uh, one point means if you subtract these two then we got 1.93419 amu so this is mass defect so if you got the mass defect easily we can identify the binding energy so this is in amu if you multiply this one with 931.6 then total value will get in mev okay so amu you can convert it into mev just multiplying with 931.6 or roughly 5 so for that binding energy so two methods i mentioned here so we can multiply directly with 931.6 mev that amu if you multiply you will get the total value in mev or actually say 931.6 mev by c square and c square c square get cancelled according to the formula delta m into c square so c square will be get cancelled so that is why we will say generally just if you multiply with 931.6 then amu will be converted into mev mass will be converted in terms of energy now this is the binding energy value that we got as 
1801.891404 MeV. So this is the total binding energy of uranium. This is for entire uranium means total binding energy of all nucleons. But here we want per nucleon. So here they mentioned 238 nucleons. So for entire 238 nucleons this is the value. So per nucleon means Be by A that is by 238. So if you divide with 238 then you will get 7.57 MeV. So it is less than iron. So we know already. So as nucleons increases inside the nucleus then the stability of nucleus decreases which is reflecting here as a decrease in binding energy per nucleon or binding energy. So binding energy anyway due to number of nucleons same increases but binding energy per nucleon that is a major key role so it decreased so with respect to that uh, the stability of the nucleus decreased is the value. 7.59 MeV is the binding energy per nucleon of uranium. Thank you.